how long do you want to spend researching that? I mean, it looks like this knowledge doesn't specifically talk about what you see outside with the tower. There's clearly some reference material, but not necessarily this. Well, we grab the bell. We want to secure the door. Yep. Oh, not my door. I use the door phone because it's amazing. Where is stairs upstairs? By the front. Like where this window thing is? <clears throat> oh, over the doorway. Right. Indeed. They're in solid shape? Yep. Mm. Does anything look like it was disturbed last night? Uh, no. You, like, you look out? Not at all. Mm -hmm. Alright. We eat breakfast. Okay. Probably finish off the bread, right? Yeah. I mean, the, the, cheese. The, the, the cheese is still good. The bread's a little little uh, harder, but still good. Wait, I have apple preserves. <laughs> okay. They you, might be really, really old. I'm not. They're really, really old and inedible. All right, throw them away. I mean, you are a tough guy. You could probably do it. I'll go. <laughs> you do have a hearty constitution. Yeah. Um, all right, you guys eat something. Mm hmm daily constitutional, go up the stairs. I'm gonna take the bread. Yeah, I think How so. How much cheese do you still have? Um, they gave you like a wedge. You have plenty, All right. like half a wedge. I need some bread and cheese. <clears throat> um, okay. Just, like apples and stuff too? Yes. Yeah, you guys You guys are good. You're, you, you're content. You, you have a good breakfast. Um, Going upstairs? Going upstairs. Okay. Uh, you get to the top of the stairs and you see a long hallway. Um, there are rooms, scattered doors. Um, you have the torch. There's windows here, so you do see some limited window, you know, light coming in. But essentially you see doors, they're all closed to all of these rooms. Any other stairs going up attic? No, not that you see. What was the roof of this keep like? Flat? It um, flat? No, it was it, it was a low pitch roof. Um, you, it seems to be intact, although you're looking up and you see that there's like some pooled water, like so, so, clearly some staining from where roof leaks have happened. Any bats? Bad dropping? Uh, no. Nope. All right. All right. I think this room. Yep. Start in the most logical place. Um, you open the door. It's unlocked. Well, we'll listen first. And... You listen. You open the door. It's unlocked. It is a modest bedroom. Bed. Uh, armoire. Anything under the bed? <clears throat> no. There's a little nightstand um, covered in dust um, you do see some seepage from like a roof leak kind of over on the one side some of the walls clearly been you know, weathered I think you want to check all the drawers yeah, I'll check the armoire good. you check the drawers I'll you check this the bed. you, you guys so check and it, it basically looks like a guest bedroom okay. that clearly wasn't used um, there's there's a candle and a sconce on the wall with a candle and the candle has not been burned. Like it's I'll grab an extra candle and use that mineral. Any better vantage point of the tower from here? Um that side I think, right? You don't there's no window the windows on these rooms face that way. So you would have to be Oh we're in the, we're looking at that room. Sorry, <clears throat> right. I, I, sorry, my bad. You go across the hall. Yeah. This looks like a master suite. Yeah. Um in fact, in the far corner, you see uh, like a commode, basically like in a wash basin. And, um, same thing, you kind of hold the torch up, you see it vents to the outside wall to some kind of wooden shaft. You see there's a 
ornate four poster bed with a nightstand. There's an armoire <clears throat> with clothes in it. Very nice clothes. You see some traveling clothes. You see some a, a multitude of robes. Salvageable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All of it. What about the traveling oh. clothes? Traveling clothes all all look like they're in good shape. Um, now, we probably think they're in style. They're probably not really in style right now, but <laughs> they're still in style. Well, they there's there's another like mirror. There's uh, and the windows that face out. You could directly see over the wall. You could see the tower. You could see the four spikes. Um, there's two mirrors we found. You I think there's something. We need. There, there's like a dresser with more clothes in it. Um, on top there there's like a wooden box. It it you open it up. There's some basic jewelry like you know uh like there's like a silver necklace there's a few silver rings uh um, god symbols anything like that nope none of that there's at least three rings here <laughs> spoken like a tree <laughs> um opportunist you find ten you rings. look three rings one for each of us by all accounts this looks like a room that had an occupant do you want to that door, yeah. Oh, if, whether if the clothes are just if the document. traveling clothes that we have. Matter of fact, the whole box might you, be a good. You you see? All right. So like, there's there are three the silver rings. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. The ring was like three silver rings. There's a gold ring. Um, there's another signet ring. Uh, of Calcidius. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, is it just like the other one? Yes. Wonderful. Um, you. Yeah, I mean, that's... You said necklace. Silver. Silver necklace. Does anybody put on any of the necklaces and or rings? No. Okay. I'm not. You put on those rings, didn't you? I mean, you guys had gloves over the top, so I, I tried to gauge as he's saying, like, we shouldn't have put them on. I was just curious if I... I, I was more asking a metagaming question. Have I seen anybody wearing any of those things? I was curious if... So the traveling clothes, <clears throat> nicer than what we have? Um, about the same. Any cloaks or capes? Yes, several. In we have several yes. colors. Do we have cloaks? <clears throat> um, you can have as many as you want. I'll, I'll help choose some. There are also some like nice program. robes. Um, you know, know kind of pajama like. type robes. Um, any boots? Any good boots? You see a pair of nice leather shoes, but you don't no, see any please. boots. You also see like some cloth slippers. The cloth slippers are, are by the bed. Nice little boots. I want to look around. Really the nicely bed. decorated room. There's like a sitting chair with like a small table next to it. Um, candle. There's like two more candles. Yeah, a couple belts. You're like the pottery bucket. <laughs> uh, armor, anything behind the armor? Or falls back to the armor and not the back? No. no. I'll say that you spent a good half an hour thoroughly searching. And the, the bed posts are just made of wood? Nothing fancy yes, about them. but very nicely yeah, okay. made. Okay. Nightstand, we're checking. <clears throat> yep. Checking nothing in the, the drawers. Nothing yeah, in the, the mattress open. Nothing in the mattress. Nothing under the mattress. Yeah. Never hurts. Okay. No. What's the oh, no, wait, wait. Now we have a view of the tower, though. So I was going to say, yeah. We're one floor up. We look up in the tower. Can we see what's on top of it? You see a domed roof, and that domed roof seems to be made of glass which is rather incredible because I mean it's leaded so there's like squares but it, it's it's magnificent like it's the kind of thing that you would see in maybe a very ornate kind of but cathedral not stained glass or anything like that. no clear um, and on top in, in the apex of that is a metal spike ah, that's what I saw what are they using this electricity for? Do I even have a concept of electricity? What are they using this lightning for? Probably more like that, yeah. Yeah. Do, I have, do we have any concept of, like, lightning as a source of energy? Other than I know it, it, it can light stuff on fire. Well, he might because of the Okay. Yeah. I, I asked the question out loud in front of the group, like, what could they possibly be using lightning? Oh, striking us for? Holding energy. How do you hold lightning? I don't know. I just well, if that's the case, maybe that's what caused our friend out there to fry. Was this yeah, held energy? Fry. Yeah, well, fry, fried. <laughs> He's um, a uh, Oh, you know what else you'd see? Huh. <clears throat> the ground mm -hmm. 
in, in the interior of the perimeter of the four spikes is like recently scorched. Like, oh. like dark, Last like charred. Like, what yes. is that? Smoking still? A little bit. Like a little bit of, I mean, now remember you guys slept you know, like in. Foggy, steamy, mm-hmm. like yeah, you, temperature. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. Shit. Well, that's terrible. Who, do, who does not want to be out there at night? Maybe that's what I was riding to tell you guys. Don't go there at night. Maybe. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't want to step in there. That's all I know. Yeah. Not now. Please. Not ever. But we'll figure it out. Um, next room. You guys proceed down the hall? Yeah, we'll go to the room on the, this, uh, towards me you, first. Do you have a light source, or are you just using the ambient light from the I windows mean, of the hall? it's not dark, is it? It's dark. I mean, do we want to use? I use the torch that we I could have. use. A, I could light one of the candles, or we could do the lantern. We all, I have a lantern. I have, have a lantern. lantern. Oh, okay. You, and oil. you approach. You see two more room doors. More doors there. At the end of the hallway mm-hmm. is a fireplace, <clears throat> and it on the mantel um, above. Sorry, above the mantel is a painting, like a, a portrait, uh, and it's framed. No. It looks like a older man with like long white hair and a long white beard, like standing tall and like holding a, a sword that is like up to his chin. Like a great sword. Yes. Okay. And like very stern face. Does he have any serpent symbols on him or ends? Do you approach and look closer? Uh, I kind of want to check the rooms out first. Okay. Don't you? Yeah, I mean, let's let's make our, our logical pathway there. Make so sure there's nothing going to pop out of these rooms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You go to the rooms, and in the same fashion, I'm assuming. As the first room. Okay. Yeah. Same as the first room. These right. are clearly um, like rooms that weren't used. Same search. However, not as well decorated. These seem very basic and functional, as if perhaps for Service. servants. Okay. Same search. You go to both Matrices, sides. Yeah. Same thing. Mattresses, nothing? Yep. Another 20 minutes later, you're down at the end of the hall. Right, you well, search these rooms. Well, let's look at the paintings since we're here first. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm with it. So, uh, again, fireplace, mantle, huge painting. Like... Massive. Like, takes up the whole... Like, like, like the it's... size of this table. Like, it's seven feet tall. Mm. Like, it's a massive vertical painting. Is there anything in the center room too? Is it like a foyer? Almost as if to scale of this of this white haired bearded man, you know. Rings? Any rings on standing, him? Yes, in fact. You see he's wearing three gold rings. I figured this is who it was. And he's holding this great sword. And you see that in the painting, the great sword has a serpent's head, a serpent's head for the pommel. Let me know who this guy is. Alright. Um, Where's that sword? <laughs> yeah, I, I would love to know. Yeah. If it's as sharp as this dagger, sweet. Right. <laughs> Ditch a shield for that. Um, why don't you hold the dagger like he's holding? Why don't we we start? So that's not a terrible idea. Here's you, you guys. Hold the dagger since are you wearing the ring? I'm wearing one of the gloves. Here's the what's you know the what's under the gloves? Huh? Well, that's what's under your gloves? Fingers? You know, what's the under, your what's under your gloves? Nothing. So pretend pretend you know. that this <laughs> column is the fireplace, yeah. and then you know yeah. All right. Um, well, let's check out the let's check out the mantle and the fireplace. I'll dig through the ashes. Okay, you Just, dig through the ashes. No, Just, I throw it out. Okay. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Message for you, sir. Just kind of hold it like he's holding his. He might be wearing wings. Okay. Like, oh, kind of You're looking up at this painting, it reminds which me of is too. massive, yeah. right? Because this is Vigo. the second floor has a tall ceiling in the hallway because it's <clears throat> like vaulted. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, like you know, so the painting's like here, basically the bottom Almost of the painting, middle midway to the high ceiling vaulted ceiling. Right. Anything else in the mantle? And, the, like and the, the painting is literally like seven feet tall, so it almost looks like the portrait of the man is life size. And that guy was like 6'6". Six, six. What do you do? Grab a side. Can we reach it? Yeah, like if you each reach up and grab a side and kind of lift it. Yeah. Okay, you lift it off. Yeah, and we get a closer look at it. Um, you take it down and you notice that there's a hollow behind the painting. Oh, does that have a sword? And in the hollow, um, suspended between two pegs is a great sword. <gasps> Fucking A. 
Go ahead. I don't want to take it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I check. I check the hollow first. If there's anything in there. Like it's. That. Dusty, but other than that, can I reach the is it like in a hilt that can reach the great sword? It's not in the hilt. Yeah, I mean, you can out. you can reach it. I can take it down, but safely without cutting. Yeah, like you just lift it off the pegs. I lift it off the pegs. It is. Are you wearing gloves or gauntlets? No. I just said I make a dexterity roll under. All right, under you say, eh? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, yes. You I'm don't cut your hands. You're oh, like. Yeah. Wow, this is extremely sharp and it's digging into my hands. Much Ow. Like and it's fucking heavy. Much yep. like the dagger. All right. I go yes. to the hilt. Same vial? Yeah, it's a little like you're like, <clears throat> and then you're like, <clears throat> like you take it off. Bigger vial because it's a longer hilt? It's a longer vial. Same liquid. <laughs> Just put that back for right now. Um, is it his blood? Is it? I don't know. Is it the venom of one of these snakes? Does it look like blood when we pull it out? Is it viscous like blood? I mean, I've seen plenty of blood. It looks like blood, but maybe mixed with something. It's the same color. Okay. It's like a dark red, but it's not. It's thicker than blood. I'm gonna put extra sharp greatsword on my inventory. Does anyone want this dagger now? It's a. It's a, it's a masterwork mm -hmm. extra sharp greatsword. Basically, it's a plus one to hit and damage. Yes. Add the dagger is also plus one to hit and damage. Plus, so plus one masterwork greatsword, right? Yep. Yeah, I guess I'll uh, As you are method. holding this, mm -hmm. it does also have the stamp with the N in it, which you have come to realize I mean, is Narganar. So here's, before you judge, <laughs> If I'm using an evil item to quench evil, to like vanquish evil, isn't that like kind of repurposing it for the, in the church's eyes? As far as I'm concerned, it's not great that you would be using an evil item, but if it's to stop evil and then we can destroy it once it's done, I will live with that. Or right, can or we, right. We, or I would. Water can we consecrate it now? <laughs> Um, I mean, not, maybe not right now. And, yeah. and, you know, and he's clearly not trying to be evil about it. He, he, I mean, I would say based on the information right. that we have. I also don't about know this thing to be, I, I don't know the significance of the uh, symbol. I have it way up in the air and say, on my soul to the one true God, I promise to only ever use this sword to vanquish evil. And I, and I, huh? I say, may you do so yes. with extreme caution. I'm so happy. Okay. Well, now I have a regular long sword. Do I, I ditch it? Too. Only open evil letters with this little tiny dagger. Go ahead. It, I can I tell what? It's the same alloy as the dagger, right? It's almost like that. Yes. It's like a matching set almost, right? Yes. So is the dagger also a plus one? Yes. Bear so in mind that's not the, magical. Um, it's what just. Is the, what is the damage on a greatsword? It's not one uh, But it has is to be. Is it dual, D10? It has to yes, be dual D10 wheel. Dual yeah. Wheel. yeah, I, I yeah. just looked it up. I'm sorry. Trade you. Dagger is yeah, no, no shields with the greatsword. Is it D10 plus one then? Yes. Ooh, it's a plus it's, one it's to plus one, plus one to hit and damage. But my Six. AC is going to go down because I'm not able to wield. Shield. You're not wear, able to wear a shield while using it, correct. And you realize that there's no way you could use this in confined spaces. All right, I will keep the longsword. Well, I'm going to be burdened. Like, if I was in one of these bedrooms, there's no way I'm wielding that thing, right? Like, like these no. bedrooms here? I mean, you could probably lunge with it, but you couldn't really... I mean, it would yeah. in a tight space, it would be hard to use that. Oh. In open warfare, it would be a dream come true. So you, As boring. you're holding it, it is extraordinarily, like the dagger, extraordinarily well-balanced. Is and it light, though, because it's it is almost toy? It is almost the same weight as your longsword, despite its... Being much size. bigger. This society, these people must have been unfucking believable miners, unbelievable blacksmiths, unbelievable creators. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, this is, we still don't even know what the red vial does. Right. Which is concerning. Maybe that helps with the balance. Maybe. A counterweight? An evil, yeah. evil counterweight? Why do we keep saying evil? I don't think it's good. I don't like the yeah, again, I, I, we're not, yeah, we're not, I, we're not I going with the this. technology is evil kind. No, the right. technology is not evil. Okay. But maybe the people that crafted it are were or not good at least. Neutral. Alright, whatever. I'm carrying a great sword around. 
if I have to drop it and pull my longsword, I'll have to drop it. Both. Can my shield like fit on my backpack? Can it, like, yeah. Hook? Oh, okay. I'll hook my shield. Am I burdened now? I believe I am. I think you. Well, you could. Could you pass something off? No, I'm not. I can. I can still carry it. You're at plus one encumbrance, right? No, I plus. still have an empty slot here at five. And you said the backpack doesn't count. Okay. So great sword. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Does anyone uh, want the dagger or the, like magic set? I, I mean, if you really want, I'll give you the dagger. So right. do you I, want the dagger? I, I know the daggers are not a very effective weapon, one. especially against anything that's armor. But that's plus one. I mean, yes, but look at my whittle. This is like, here, watch it. I'll pull my whittling stick out. Like, plus one and just barely minus go. I'm two. I'm just going to barely go. Minus, then a minus two. Why so, minus two? Because uh, it counts as a minor weapon. Minor weapons, small one handed weapons, including daggers and clubs, that suffer a minus two penalty to hit opponents with an unadjusted AC of 15 or better. But if you ever need to cut a rope or something like that, yeah, you're, you're that's what I'm saying. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to say like no. I'm, I, I don't want to hold. Basically, it. against yeah. anyone without armor, it's very effective. But if they have heavy-ish armor, then it's not super effective. Yeah, which okay, which makes awesome. sense. Right. We never know we're going to use it. Exactly. I hand it to you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm all right. Just got so we want to check out these other two rooms and just kind of call it a day on the well, upstairs. Is there anything else about the <clears throat> anything, like anything on the back, writing on the back? No. You know what? What condition is the painting in? Yeah, that's a great question. It looks old. Like, will, will we pull it out of the frame and roll it up? Like it's it's cracked. No, let's pull it up. Like the you feel like if you tried to roll it up, it would crack. Oh. Anything else about the fireplace? No. Um, the other the the servants' rooms all had like water damage, like roof leaks. I'm gonna have to get a hilt made for this. But not so I can be like, not like caved in, but just. Damn it. So nothing it may be something in. over the space. All right. The there's space. there's got to be a way to the roof. It, it, like, does this vaulted ceiling seem vaulted enough that there's an attic? No. It's the opposite of that. You feel like it's... We're at Like top. it's... Yeah. No place to climb up. Yeah. I kind of don't. I think we've got to check out. I wish we found anything. How about we give us, I mean, I don't want to waste a day. Okay. To, to be clear, the house structurally is like. Solid. In fair shape. Mm -hmm. Like if you were like, if this were a home and you wanted to fix it, you, you would yeah. hire some roofers and you would, you yeah. know, maybe bring in some masons to do some tuck pointing and, you know, some carpenters to repair some of the wood rot. But overall, like, it's in fair shape. Okay, so part of me, I mean, I clearly don't want to waste a day hanging out in this house, right? Even if it does mean you get to research the book more and you get to do more, you know, soul searching with your god, I don't want to do that. I mean, no. I, but I don't want to miss another opportunity to see if the lightning strikes here. So here's the idea. We haven't, it's not that late in the morning, right? Correct. What if we ride to Southport? Or Three Rivers? Three Rivers? Three Rivers would be the closest time. What if we go to Three Rivers, do some research, give us a night, 100%. Hit this place up in the morning. We need more information. We've got a lot of I interesting mean, we pieces. We could probably go to Two Rivers, or Three Rivers, or whatever it is, sell some stuff, Yeah. and come back and still see if there's lightning at night. Do we have enough time for that? I mean, it's morning. It's like, what, 10 in the morning? 10 in the morning? So you two, could probably two. make it to Three Rivers by mid-afternoon. And it's two, you said two and a half hours, two hours? Yeah. So two hours. I mean, we spend a couple hours at Three Rivers. And maybe we get some horses coming back. Oh, or, or in a, and a cart, maybe. Yeah. Mm, so can we carry the silverware now like, and sell the silverware? Okay, I was against your plan. Now I'm coming around. <laughs> <laughs> like, what can we each physically carry? To two, two oh. rivers, like silverware for sure. Yeah, let's say right? a riding horse, and there may be like a horse and a cart. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. If we could take like a little sack full first, of some of the silverware. Even if all we could afford the first of beat it, burden and a cart, I'm still, I'm still like, let's do that. Yeah. Now you're losing me. You lose me. And me now. Tell you what, we use the first of beat and the burden and the cart, and then we go back to two rivers. And once we sell everything that we put in the first of beat, beast of burden, you can buy whatever horse you want. Yeah, now, now I'm back on board. <laughs> I've drilled you back in. <laughs> I mean, I still think if we go to Three Rivers and come back, we're still going to be able to see if there's a lightning strike. This is clearly a safe place to stay. 
<laughs> Despite all of the lore behind it, this yeah, I mean, like, totally comfortable for I us feel to like stay in. Did a model home tour. Like, yeah, right. Now this is the room. They've let it go a little bit. It needs an update. Let's see. <laughs> if we leave now, we I'm can with get it. a hot meal. We can even get a hot meal in Three Rivers. Talk to some locals. I know what bar to go to because Jonas has told us. There's also a temple to the true, the one true God there. I would like oh, to I visit. Need to be able to get some clarity. You guys walk out of. Gonna open a bed and breakfast. The key. No, this place is great. Calcidia's bread and breakfast. <laughs> you start traveling across the lands again, open, unmanaged. I'm gonna be you like know, land. randomly swashing it like Clark and stuff like. Huh, I'm gonna be very uh, suspicious of any snakes I see. I'll um, swat them. You you guys walk for a couple hours and you come across uh, a path like a, a well used. Uh, dirt road, you see like, you know, wagon wheel ruts sure, and sure. horse prints, that kind of stuff. And uh, you, in short order, arrive at the village of Three Rivers. You see, I mean, you see rivers um, and you see this village that's kind of straddling the river. Um, there's like a, you know, a, a few bridges and then some docks, you see fishing boats. Um, it, it looks like a vibrant place. Um, there's no wall or palisades or anything, so you guys kind of just follow the path in. You pass by some some cottages and stuff on the way into kind of the more bustling part of the village. And there's just people all over the place. Um, Shops, you see an inn. And it is very left now, so like... And then Baldrick arrives, um, and he comes in, and he's, you know, a middle-aged guy, gray crown of hair, bald on the top, uh, kind of a gray salt and pepper beard. I smile and wave him, wave him over like, oh. And he, he comes over, and it looks like he's cleaned up, like for him. I, like, get, the, I get the waitress, and I ask for food and ale or whatever they drink, and yes. whatever we're getting. Um, Baldrick sits down with you. You guys I have. Do so. You know, in short order, he's he's eaten up some bread and cheese and drinking his ale, and a good time. another round comes along. Uh, more people are coming in. So, what is it that you uh, wanted to hear about? Tales of of the borderlands, or uh, well, perhaps um, Flute should do the talking. Uh, well, we're looking to learn a little bit about the former lord of the area. Calcidius. Mm. We traveled through Eurabulon. That's his first name. Yeah, yeah we, uh, yes, we traveled yes. through uh, some of the uh, farmsteads through the Jonas farmstead. They told us some interesting stories, and oh, I I knew their father. He was a good man. So we're uh, first time through the area. I can remember and. We're just looking to catch up on local lore. He looks around and he says, well, uh, the Chalcidiuses were always a, an odd folk. They were a, an old family. Uh, been in this area for many years, going back the, to, the, to the time of the Southlands and the colonies of Nargonheim. You notice that he does like one of these when he says Nargonheim. Mm. Yeah. We've heard tales of Nargonheim. Yeah, the old so northern kingdom, long, long ago. What What do you know about it? Or other? What business did they have? They the were land? extraordinarily yeah. powerful. Uh, they, it was the, said to be the greatest kingdom in all of the lands, all of Dorogutian. Is it still a kingdom? Or? No, no, no. Centur centuries ago, it, it fell to some unknown doom. The most of the people of Nargenheim were also lost to whatever ruined their civilization. But there had been uh, colonies. Does this predate the one through there? Uh, claims to lands here in the borderlands. Uh, some of the 
noble families of Nargenheim had immigrated and claimed lands and have you ever I heard believe of? the Chalcidius line descended from Nargon. Yes, from a Menzrik, right? I do not know their, their ancestry fluidly, but I, I believe that they were descendants of, of Nargonheim. Do you know anything about a dragon or a serpent symbol with Nargonheim? Mm. Folk used to speak of many things. Who knows what was true or not, but they say that in Nargenheim there were great things, wondrous things, but, but also terrible things. Monsters, hideous monsters. Uh, great creatures that, that were, were of such enormous, colossal size that they could, that, that some speculate that that's what destroyed Nargenheim. Mm. Right, one quick question about like the, the lore of the religion, like okay, the, if the year is twelve thirty six, is that like twelve thirty six A D kind of a thing, or like do I know when our, our religion dates back to? Because when we're comparing things that are centuries old, like am I like, oh yeah, our religion is centuries year old too? You you feel like the twelve thirty six number comes from something that happened in the lands of Doraguetian, okay, and and that was the arrival of the one true God. Okay. That that marks the arrival of the one true God. Okay. I.e., like the year of our Lord, sort of thing. Yeah. Um, do you know why the Chalcidius family stopped collecting their debts? It's in, and why no one moved in to take take their lands from them? Well, in a, in a manner, uh, I, I the the people who were under the employ of the House Chalcidius and, and the, the farmers who worked the lands of House Chalcidius all. For some time they, they prospered. By all accounts, it was uh, truly a noble house. and, and uh, The people were content. I believe that the, the last lord, the one of whom you spoke, Eurapulon, I believe his name was, uh, his older years became quite eccentric. And there were many rumors and disturbing uh, whispers about some, some sorts of strange things happening. And perhaps, perhaps in his older age, and being that he was without a family or any heirs to his line, he, his, his mind deteriorated in some fashion. He had no children? No. He was never married. Hmm. Is the Chalcidius, um, are they God-fearing books? Are they, are they uh, to be I believe so. Um, oh. Some time ago, uh, those who were, were still working the lands, uh, for the most part, abandoned, packed up, left, moved on to other villages and some moved on as far as Southport, and some went north to Lee County and some of the other villages. Lee County, is that closer than Nargenheim? It is the furthest to the north uh, of the borderlands. House Lee has, uh, has ruled the county for a long time. Have any um, historians or architects have gone to Nargenheim to, to see? I do not believe that is possible. The, the mountains to the north are treacherous. Not simply the the mountains themselves, but the creatures that live there? Yes. It's, it's not just the low people, mind you. There are terrible rumors of monstrous entities. Have you heard of uh, raids from um, the uh, Mongol, Mongol folks? And oh, yes. The city? The, no. <laughs> He, he laughs. He's like the mongrel folk would never dare come, even to a village such as this. They, they, they tend to prey on uh, farmsteads that are more remote. And they're they're cowards. Truly. What, what about other creatures? Ones with white fur, much larger. Uh, I give a. He big says not not anywhere in this area. If you were in the foothills, perhaps, or 
sometimes there have been, you know, reports of such things in the forest, deeper in the forest, not, mind you, not so much where the lumber camps are, but okay. um, I, I have heard of such things, huge, tall, hulking creatures with mm -hmm. white fur. And, uh, but usually, again, deeper in the forests or, or the foothills or mountains. Who Dealer. founded um, this town? Who was the founder of this town? Um, this this was a, a small fishing village for many years. It was only fairly recently, um, when I was a younger man, that um, the Vincenzo family uh, moved up here from Southport and Is that where you purchased that? land. Yeah, you, 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 you've heard of that. It's a noble house. Oh. I have another question about a noble house from Southport. Have you heard of House Nicolo and I've heard that they uh, they trade in goods. I'm just curious as to what yes, goods. Yes, that's one of the old houses. They are, along with the Vincenzos, they are uh, council members. Members of their family are on the council of Southport. Do you know of any business that they had with the Calcidius family? Not, not that I can specifically recall. I, I mean. Anything that's shipped upriver from Southport would have come to Three Rivers and then been taken overland to the Calcidius estate. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. All right. Would that be found out at the magistrate? Yes, the magistrate would have all of the okay. shipping yeah. records. Uh, yes. Well, we thank you for your time, and I hope it wasn't an inconvenience for us to come talk to us. I guess. Do you have a question? Yeah. yeah, have there been any stories of odd happenings since the passing of uh, you? I, I would say this to you, travelers. There, there are rumors about. There's a reason why the folk who once lived and worked on the estates of House Calcidius left. Some say that that place is haunted. Mm. Others say that strange happenings occur near the keep and uh, odd things, flashes of light. Yeah, I was going to ask, how often do lightning storms happen in this area? As much as any storm would happen. So not, it's not a nightly occurrence? No. Were you aware of the storm last night? Yes, certainly. Okay. It was a heavy rain. Quite a, quite a bit of lightning and thunder, yes. But it seemed to pass overnight. It was made for good fishing this morning, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Mm. If it is truly more information you seek about all of House Calcidius, I'm afraid. I, I don't have great details, but I, again, would warn you, friends, that even holy men such as yourself should, I would caution you. We will, we will proceed with Thank you. Yeah, I really only have quite, I have like two big questions for the magistrate. I Three, I guess. The yeah, the bard's still like playing yeah. and singing and he's like a good looking guy with like kind of shaggy shoulder length brownish you know dark blonde hair clean shaven face he's wearing like kind of fancier clothes yeah like the barmaids regularly stop by and replenish his ale and the crowd like generously applauses when he finishes a t you know a song and all right i'm gonna go listen to the bard and actually listen to see if He's singing tales of lore and legend. Then. Occasionally, his songs, yeah, some, a lot of his songs are your basic, you know, love songs or um, songs that, you know, make fun of, of like, mm. foolish lords, that kind of stuff. They're kind of comedy. Um, he, you know, he, but, but he seems to have a good grasp of entertaining, um, you know, kind of these little parables, you know, about. Mm. The, the fisherman who fell in love with the, the, okay. the river spirit and that kind of stuff. Cool. Nothing about the local legend or more than that? No. 
There once was a place called Nargonheim. Wait, what? <laughs> you'll all die. What? <laughs> if you go to Calcidius's tower, you'll die. <laughs> hmm. Stay away from the four metal spikes. <laughs> unless you want to be fried. Nargonheim. <laughs> Playing a bar. I should write. <laughs> See, this is why I record that. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to make that into a song. All right. Um, so you have. Oh, do you just need more attention? <laughs> um, you have had a lengthy day. Yeah. It is evening. You are well situated for rooms yeah. and comfort, and uh, you've had a hearty meal and. Many rounds of ale. Oh, well, yeah. What do you want to do now? I mean, I think a good sleep before we go super little places is a good idea. <laughs> yeah, ultimately, all I wanted to do was go to the magistrate before we leave, either in, at night, which I assume is not open, but um, before we left in the morning would be really it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we'll get, we'll secure the cart while you go to the magistrate. Interesting. Okay. So in the morning, you guys get a great sleep. Uh, in the morning, breakfast. you, um, Philippe and Wolfgang go to acquire carts and mules. Well, or a wagon, to to sorry, wagon and, and mules. Carts and mules. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. you go to the magistrate. Mm -hmm. That way we save time. It is a, a, a nice big brick building. Um, you enter, there's like a counter, there's an attendant there who greets you. Okay. I, uh, I wish him a good morning, and um, good morning to you too. Father. I uh, I am here with a, a couple important questions about a, a mission that I am on for the, for the church, um, mostly having to do with uh, the transport of goods and importing of goods from Southport. Um, I was wondering if you could give me any information about what house uh, Nicolo was bringing up um, and transferring for House Calcidius now. These records go back some 17, 18 years, but I was curious if you had any sort of information for me that I could obtain. Uh, I could. Let me see uh, how far back those records go, sir. Would you give me a moment? Absolutely. Uh, he walks back to a group of shelves and kind of begins looking through books, pulling them down, looking at them, putting them back. And about 20 minutes later, he says, I, I don't have any records going back that far. Um, it Prior to uh, House Vincenzo uh, taking over the administration of Three Rivers, it was a very simple kind of rural uh, village. So most record keeping was maintained between uh, clients and companies. So if there was a specific shipping company, um, it would have been kept with their company's records. He says now, uh, you, you mentioned between House Calcidius and House Niccolo. Mm -hmm. um, I, if I had to guess, you, you would probably need to address that uh, with House Niccolo in, in their records, which would be in Southport. Yes. Um, do, we know, do you know anything of architects coming up from Southport to work with and construct a tower. From that same time period? Yes. Still too early. Ship, even, even ship passage records um, would have been kept between the, the company. Each company would have kept their own records. Hey, come on here. Uh, of course, now, more, you know, within the last 10 years, House Vincenzo has. Ollie, he. And, and come on. the attendant gestures to, like, the, the books on the shelves. House Vincenzo has, has kept much more accurate record keeping of such things. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else worth asking here. So, is our travel time maybe cut down because of the wagon and stuff? Not really. Okay. Because you're going over, I mean, okay. some of it will be, but then once you get out into rougher the rougher farmland that is overgrown, you'll be you'll be kind of traveling at a slower pace. What kind of cart did we get? Like, you got a wagon, which is bigger than like a cart. A covered wagon? No, like, well, it could be. Like something that, like, on our adventures, we can sleep inside if we wanted to. You, 
that was what my presumption was, but if we wouldn't need to spend Well, you know what? Part. We'll say it is a covered wagon because I upcharged you anyway. Yeah. So it's a covered wagon. <laughs> and it's it's sizable. Right. So you have you have acquired the mules. Um, and they even throw in, because this is such a triumphant sale for them to sell a wagon and two mules, yeah, they, they throw in a couple sacks of, of feed for the road, um, for the mules. Oh yeah, that's a great thing. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Mm. Excellent. Welcome. Um, I, I'm ready to ride. So yep. we need, do we need any rations? Do you want to buy more rations before we leave? It's not going to hurt us to get more cheese and ham and bread. I'm not expecting to be gone that long, but yeah, yeah I guess we can. We have rations. We'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be back. Good. We ride. Okay. We ride. You arrive three hours later. Okay. Does anything look different? Nope. Keep is the same. Tower is the same. Super good, that place. Yeah. I mean, definitely the silverware. Yeah. I don't know the paintings are going to do we, like do we do the tower first? Or are we talking about going back and look? I mean, I, I feel that we're, I mean, if we're here for a reason, let's address the reason. And then be opportunists for everything else that comes along. That's what the wagon's for. I mean, we're. So you talk about this book. Yeah. And they harness lightning for some reason. Yeah. Is there any way to. Unharness it? Or redirect it so it doesn't go to the tower? Uh, do I remember reading anything like that? No. No. Not that I, I We're not going to be able to pull those, those metal. No, but where is it going to? Is the there very, something very that we can. Is there something up there that we can move or disable? I mean, maybe, but who wants to step inside? Well, I mean, probably there's an that guy. There's an opportunity yeah. that, like, or there's a there's a chance that he stepped inside during a lightning storm, which would be really stupid. I don't know why you would do that or got captured that way. But I'm still not like. That's what I was saying. We should. We, I was wanted to get. Chicken? I thought. So I said we wanted to get either rats or chickens or something to test this out on. But we've seen birds land in there, and they were fine. I more meant like, okay, if they touch this obelisk, will they get electrocuted or not? Have we seen that? Anything land on one of these big poles? There really isn't a place to land. They're smooth, right? Yeah, they'll just slide down. Okay. I would love to go try to catch one of those garden variety snakes and just okay. chuck it at one. I'm you do. Nothing happens. The snake bounces I'm off. I'm going to look at the okay. obelisk from the outside, not the inside where the runes are. Mm -hmm. Is there any sort of plates or like access to it? Or nope. It seems to be solid metal. There's something on the inside. And of this it doesn't thing. look like normal iron. I don't, this might be don't outrageously any, stupid, but you don't we can see try to use evidence. that super sharp sword to fuck this thing up. You don't see any evidence. Just of an idea. Rust. Try the dagger. Yeah. Just an idea. Cut into it with the dagger? Yeah, see, is it dagger, is dagger score it? Uh, you can, yeah, you can scrape it with the dagger. But it doesn't cut into it. Not, I mean. It's not like, it's not like chopping wood. Yeah, no. So you guys want me to swing at this thing? I was just floating that as an idea of what what could we do to fuck no, one, no, and break no, one of these things. The metal is made out of is it really worth damaging your no, sword? I mean, it's I, really not. No. I don't. I didn't think so. How is the obvious in the ground? Like great question. In the ground, like deep. But is it just in soil? You don't know. Do you want to excavate around it? No, but I might want to try tie a wagon team and a horse to it. Okay. Maybe you know loop a little rope around yep. and mm -hmm. hook up the wagon team out with that with they, the wagon. They pull uneventfully. It is now three in the afternoon. So it's, it's not like we don't have a place to stay. Do we locate a door? To there the is tower? a door at the bottom of the tower. There's a set. There's a set of double doors at the bottom of the tower. Are they I'm, I'm going to go and just spend time go? looking at the doors. You All right. So there? you're going to go in there. You walk there's into the field. And he's fine. Okay. You walk up yep. to the front entrance of these double doors. They are iron banded. Um, on each side is a pole, like a handle, 
that is ornately carved in the shape of like a serpent, like tail. But he stepped into. He stepped in there. Yeah. He's fine. All right, I'll go up with him. Okay. Where? Just so I know, where is the wagon and the mules? Are you bringing Actually, that into the keep, yard no, no, of the hold, hold on. of I'm the keep, you, or what are you doing with how it? How big was the door to the keep? Honestly, was the door to the keep big enough? Fit at least the horses. And no, to the gates of the yard, yes, but not the. We'll, we'll lock them in the gates of the yard. And we'll be fine. We'll let them graze and stuff like that. It'll be okay. Yeah, there's we'll plenty of overgrown them. shit for them to graze on. Okay. Yeah. And we'll lock, make sure we'll secure the gates somehow so they don't just get. Like, if you them. wanted, you could yeah. fill uh, buckets from the well and mm -hmm. pour it into a trough. Well, I smell the water as well first. It's, it's painted. No, it smells yeah. like. Old groundwater, right, but we'll put the we'll put the wagon around back, and we'll you know maybe even. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's go check out the door. I guess. Yeah. Um, there is also uh, above each of the handles. There is a there is a large like knocker. Nope. I'd rather thanks. Not. No thanks. Uh, you still got those lockpicks? Yeah, but you know why don't we try uh, looping a rope? that goes all the way to outside of the blast radius and now pull it on the doors to see if they'll right. open. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. We've got the so you're, time. Just so I understand, you you're handles. both handles? One. One, one handle at a time. And if we have enough rope, we'll put one on each one. Okay. And then you knot it, you walk back out of the blast radius, <laughs> and then you pull. They open it. It opens. Oh. Yeah. We'll just leave the rope there first. <laughs> I don't want to. We'll we have extra rope. Untie one of the ropes. Yeah. Oh, do you want to get the tack from the one horse that was struck by the one we know? You want to know the other wagon? Is that anything you want to do? The tack from that horse? Uh, I actually paid for the okay. horse. I'm just saying right. you want to sell it. Maybe. Oh, so yeah. if, it's if we ever get another condition. horse, yeah. maybe if we ever get another yeah, horse. Yeah, if it's a decent condition. Sure. Now that we've gotten up to this horse and stuff that we've been in the yard, how long do we, could I make a uh, check on how long I think these bodies well, have been here? We pulled the horse out of the yard. Pull the whole horse out of the air? Yeah, no. To get this, oh no, we pulled the saddle bags off. Yeah, it's, it's it's been months. Okay. Months. Okay. All right. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's venture forth into the, into the unknown. Yep. Save her. Yeah, Good definitely. Prayer. I am going to be praying my ass off because I'm totally terrified of going in this place, but I know that the one true God will keep us safe. Okay, I'm just putting random furnishings here so that you have an idea of things. These aren't actually crates or barrels or whatever. They're just like chairs and stuff These like are. that. Okay, looking in, you see a foyer. Um, there's... Uh, you see uh, two short, like, coffee tables um, against these walls, east and west walls, um, and two chairs. And it is immaculately clean. There's no dust anywhere. Um, and we still can keep the door open. I don't yeah, want to in case we need to run. Yeah. You see a. I really should get doors. But you see a door there and a door there. I check outside real quick. Still, still sunny and nice out. Yep. Cool. <laughs> Do the coffee tables have drawers? Uh, no. Okay. That's it. It's a very plainly adorned... Are they movable? Yes. Do I see any other... Uh, oh, sorry. Lay it down wedge to keep the door yeah. from closing. Yeah, we saw the pitons, too. Yeah. Let's do, I mean, I'm okay just being really redundant about it. We only put the coffee table... The piton, the door's open. Yeah. And we'll put the coffee table in there so we don't have to hold them up in case we need to make a rapid escape. Yeah, like, lay down so we can hop over them, but just keeps yeah, the yeah. door from... Yeah. Shut yeah. So I hammer pitons in. I'm holding the door, bracing the door. I'm the in the back. I've made this room way too big. Sorry. It's okay. But I get the idea. Yeah. Is there any other serpent imagery anywhere? Uh, no. Okay. No paintings, no decorations, yeah. nothing. No symbols on the floors? No symbols on the floors? Uh, we'll go to that first door. <sighs> okay. Oh, one. All right. Um, you open that door. No, I was going to listen first. Oh, you listen and don't Sorry. hear anything. All right. Um, the door locked, bound, just a Not locked, door. standard door. No locks, no keyhole. 
Uh, stand around the corner and do the push open thing. It's gonna be, I'm gonna stand Yeah, I'm gonna stand there. on the side of the door. I'll okay. Against the wall. I'll pull the push the wall. open thing. So here, here, here. Um, you, you have a torch, right? right? Cause there's no, there's no windows. So let, 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 now I think we bust out the lanterns now. Yeah, we have the lanterns. Okay. So we want to stand out of the way. All right. You're gonna push, I'll be back. Yeah. You open the door and you see a large walk-in closet, wall to like wall to wall, hanging clothing, uh, mostly like cloaks, capes, coats, uh, for all seasons. And it looks very dated. Like, like these aren't but the kind of clothes that people would wear. But it's still kept up. Yes, it's clean. I go through some of the pockets of the cloaks and coats. They're all empty. Symbols, sigils? Nope, no symbols or sigils. Um, just just looks like... To the other door. Okay. Same procedure. Same procedure. All right, let's see. That is a, stairwell? a larger... Larger room. We're going to have to the great sword in. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Are these ten by ten squares? Is that no? Numbers? They're five. Uh, then now they're going to be really fancy. Well, yeah, yeah. that really is. Oh yeah, sure, it's great. Story. Now, in the absence of curved tiles, because this is a rounded tower, right? It's the stairs up. Um, imagining that you have a. A spiral stair going up, going marked down. by that gaff tape. And going down. Uh, wait, are they going up or down? No, they go up. So there's no down. Yes. What else is in this room? Okay, so you also see a long wooden table. Like the one I the Like the one I saw before? Um, with chairs and all right so in the center of the room is a sizable table ringed by six chairs against the east wall is a glass cabinet stocked with serving china <coughs> stay okay. stocked with serving china and four bottles of wine one of the bottles uh you see the four bottles of wine are like stacked on a shelf pretty effectively and they all look very old. Like they, they have like paper labels that are on them that look like they're, you know, some of them look like they're 50 years old. They look like it. Um, you notice one of the corks kind of seems to be a little discolored as if maybe it's not, as, as if maybe it's rotten. <laughs> Um, What's on the it? far wall, on the southwest corner, is a statue. Mm, here, put that over there on the southwest corner. Is a statue. Which I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> maps. What was this one? The statue this one. So, in the southwest corner, uh, is a statue of a female, but instead of hair, her hair is made of snakes. Nope. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, nope. and for that reason, I'm out. And in her left, she's like extending her left hand to a statue that is looking at her, who is also taller than her by a foot. And it looks like a statue of like a, a like a king or something. Like he's wearing a crown and he has like long hair and a beard and he's very tall. What is this face? And he's like taking his hand in her hand. What does this face look like on a statue? Like, like just kind of stoic. In fact, as you look at it, the tall statue of the man sort of looks like yeah. the painting that you saw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, um, and that statue, I should mention, is on a... This? Um, yeah, like the statues are on a pedestal. Okay. What's on the table? Awesome. Yeah. 
And so we stay away from the statue. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, the statue. Do you want to steal the wine now, or do you want to wait? So, well, I was actually wondering if, if it is uh, wine bottles, but I wonder if it has a liquid in it, like the liquid that's in the oh, bottles that we have. Cool. There's also a pile of boxes. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Throw this. Throw those in the corner, kind of closer to the stairs. The pile of boxes, um, yeah, it's like two of them on the bottom and one on the top. Like two on the bottom, one stacked up between the two on the top. They're kind of closely stacked up. Okay. Do I hear anything? Nope. Let's go check out the boxes. Or the bottles. Well, you go check out the bottles. We'll check yeah. out the boxes. Yeah. You're going to safe room. Yep. Okay. Do you want to watch the statue? Make sure it doesn't start moving. Who's doing? I'm going to keep my eye on the uh, the skeleton statue or the uh, the lady statue. Yeah. Do I know what a Medusa is? Is that a thing I know? You know of it only from myth. Okay. Like and and the way you know of it is that it's basically a sinful woman who is cursed by the one true god. Mm-hmm. All right. What do you want to do first, the wine or the boxes? Uh, who's going over to the boxes? I'll do the boxes. Okay, what are you trying to do? They're... Uh, are they labeled? Nope. Is there a way to open them? Uh, it looks like they're nailed shut. You could probably smash them. smash them or take one down and try to pry off the lid. I'll do that. Can okay. I take it out on myself? Are they too heavy? Sure. Okay. Um, you go to grab the box and you're like, and it seems to be nailed to the other two. And, and it's not heavy, but like when you pull on it, the whole three of them move. Is there anything behind them? You look behind and you notice that as you're looking behind, they were covering a trap door in the floor. Yay. Ba, 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 ba. All right, do you want to handle the wine while I tell the, I, I, I uh, turn around, I go, hey guys, there's a trap door here. Okay. This is a false boxy. You can make an intelligence roll under. You feel like one of these bottles is probably bad, has gone bad. The cork is rotten through. The other three seem to be intact and very old and possibly worth a lot. Chris asked before too, because it looked like the liquid that was in the vials in the No. Register. This looks like wine. Like you hold it up to your lantern. It's wine. A really nice bougie wine. Yeah, um, so. and in fact it looks like wine from South Port, which is wine from the South is usually gonna, worth a I'm lot. I'm not gonna take it with me because there's a chance it's gonna get damaged, but I will pull okay, it out okay. and set it near the door so I remember to grab it on the way out. Okay. Um so I guess the question is trap door or up? Is there anything on the table? Nothing on the table, right? Uh, the no, nothing on the table. I say down first. I mean, yeah, I'm down, for, down for that too. Down. Agreed. All right. Is the trap door locked? Hinged? Nope. I will do the same thing where I'm going to take the trap door and I'm going to kind of, this is the trap door and I'm standing here. I'm going to open it like this. Ready? Okay. And be shielded by whatever could possibly come out the trap door. You do. Yeah. Um, I actually screwed that up. The switch the boxes in the statue. That's fine. We get, you get the idea. Um, so the gist is, is that you see this trap door has a very steep set of stairs, stairs almost like a ladder going down. As you look down into that room, you see it looks like it's some kind of storage room. Like you see a ton of other boxes down there. We'll go down. Yeah. I'll sun down first. Okay. Um, this room is filled with crates. Um, no, no labels on the crates. Um, it is so filled with crates that basically when you get to the bottom, it's like the entire room, walls, floor to ceiling are covered in more of these wooden boxes. Because I'm sure I can. Yeah, it's, um, it's pretty tight I try space. to pull a box down and see if I can open it. Okay. You can, you can pull one down. Okay. It's, it's time for weird things in Lamentations of the Flame Princess. 
All right, so the first crate is um, full of snakes. Snakes and blood. You go to open it and there's a paper uh, label mm -hmm. tacked into the top of this. Well, I would have read that first. Can I read it? Yep. Oh. Um, and it, it reads, the shoulder blade of a laborer who ignored misery. Oh, I don't open that. I go to the next box. What is that a label? box is about the size of a shoulder blade? Or a yeah, they're, box? some of them are smaller, some of them are larger. What's the next box? The sternum of a wife who told tales. Okay, I read one more box. About happiness. What the fuck? The next box is labeled the spine of a merchant who sold happiness. Up I go. But how many merchant boxes who sold happiness? Ballpark estimate in here. At least 60. I tell them they're all about body parts. Does it stink down here? Nope. Because well, they're skeletal, I think, body parts. I, they're all skeletal body parts of people who had something to do with happiness. Like, it's like, we, we killed these people because they were happy. Uh, there is also a door to the east that is made of solid iron. I don't want to go with people by myself. You guys can go down. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Um, go inspect the door. Who's carrying a lantern? Are, are you, uh, is anybody you else searching? I'll carry a lantern in my, uh, my yeah, holy symbol. No. Is, is anybody yes, else sir. searching? Yeah, I'll look at a few on the way over. I told I well, I go, I looked at that one. That was terrible. I looked at that one. That was terrible. Yeah. I looked at that one. That was terrible. I'll just I'll take a terrible. couple of random on the way roll, over. Roll me a search roll. I also start praying. I'm D6, not searching shit right D6. now. Two. Nice. So you're noticing that, as I mentioned, like wall to wall, floor to ceiling. There's one area that that where the crates don't go all the way up to the ceiling. And you notice like the, the masonry, like the wall um, is missing grout around one of the bricks. Huh. This looks different. Who brought their 10 foot pole? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I brought a really long greatsword that I don't mind pushing into something. Yeah. So see this, it yeah, looks yeah. Different. I, I wonder if it goes either in or out. We'll I um, will. It, I will reluctantly take my great sword, and I will not take. Can I wield it just to poke with one arm? Just to poke, not to like attack. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'll sheathe my long sword and I will poke at the door. So it wasn't much. At the much. iron door? Yeah. No, at the the missing ground. Okay. The brick like moves yeah. a little bit. I like pushed in. More. You, it doesn't seem to push in. All right. So you know it's what? We'll be, all right. I sheathe my great sword. I pull my long sword. Or you know, why don't I go in and I'll see if I can pry it out with the dagger? You do. Right. Okay. You look behind it. There's a iron, like, rod. Oh. Like an iron lever. I wonder if that opens the iron door. All right. All right. I'll go stand by the iron door and be ready. Okay. I'll hold the torch and the, my holy we'll symbol at the door in there as well. Pretty good to make sure there's nothing. <clears throat> like, oh yeah, you twist the thing and the spikes shoot out the side. Your hand you don't see anything like that. The blades, nothing. Okay, all right. Let's open her. Let's do this. You turn the lever. You hear a grinding sound, oh, and you see the crates in front of you slide open, like on a hinge, and it reveals a door that looks like it goes into a some kind of passage. Oh, that didn't open the iron door at all. Hmm. All right, let's go in there now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The, the iron door seems like bullshit. Let's go in the second yeah. one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nothing's hidden behind an iron okay. solid door. Okay. So you kind of go into this. You see a long hallway, <laughs> and it looks like there are cells, like five foot cells. There are eight of them. Let's. And they have iron like bars on them. Close behind us. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I should have two more pitons, right? Can I hammer the door so it doesn't close behind us? Yes. I hammer the pitons in the door so it's wedged and it will not close behind us. So imagine, if you will, that you have a strip, like a hallway that runs like this long with cells. 
you're here, Outside? you can only, no, just like hallway mm -hmm. cells. You can only see like the first few of them mm -hmm. with, you know, iron bars. And you see like di just corpses, like dead bodies, desiccated, rotten. Well, maybe that's where they put the people till they die and then they harvest the shoulder blades, sternum, that spines. That's also. Um, are any of them nobility? I mean, even Do you rot enter the... Th I'm just telling you what you can yeah. see. You can't even see the whole length of the hallway. Like, just looking through the door. Do you enter the hallway to get a closer look? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll take you guys enter the hallway. You see these corpses. You look down the hallway. You see cells. And it looks like there are more of these. Are and then you hear, like... Free us. They're alive? You hear like a voice from kind of down the hall. Free us. Are there labels on any of these cells? No. Are what? the people, are the cells? You hear someone, people? you hear another voice closer that's like, help me. Okay. Help yeah, me. Yeah, we help. Yeah, we help. We help. Yeah. All right. You see, you see, uh, and by the way, followers of the one true God the you don't world. see any living people. Oh, no. You just see these corpses. Yeah. And then, like, you see a, a peg on the wall, uh -huh. and there's a ring of keys. I go, whoa, whoa, hold on. Do we even know what we're getting into here? No, but we know that people might need help. Yeah. Do we? Well, I'm I mean, looking for the people. Oh, we'll, you we'll, sense, do you sense my So I, I shine the light that we have in the this. Do you detect any evil? I mean, kind of the Vulcan part blows like the shit, but... Does it smell? <laughs> These corpses seems like they've been dead for a while. So we're looking for a living person as we're okay, so walking down with a lantern. You go to the first cell, no. um, the body doesn't move. The second cell, you see the body get up and go like this, help me, and it reaches for the cell doors and it's kind of sticks its arm out, swiping at arm? you. Yeah, what does it look like? Does it look like? Yeah, like it's a dead person. A dead person's reaching through the arm? Yes. Oh yeah, no, we don't need to let these people out. He no. said, "Who put you here?" Help me! An abomination Help me. is you cut off his arm, and he's like, "Help me!" With the stump, Help me. an abomination of God. Free this us. place is desecrated. Free we must us. leave. That's what Help me. Worship the one true God. You hear more of these voices from these cells. We need to get out of here. Well, can you? Well, okay. Do you continue I, to I, look I, you, further down? I, I ask, who do you worship? Do you worship the one true God? Same shit. Help. Yep, I'm good on this. Yeah, I um, I do you check any of the other cells? I don't. Is there any like progression, like really dead? Yeah, really I mean, dead, it sounds less dead, less dead. Yeah. Less dead. I mean, you, you, you down? we go down carefully. Um, I got my holy symbol and my my lantern and, out. You know, the third cell. I've seen way too many episodes of Walking Dead. The ones that are very look very well contained. Just, Stab them with your sword a few times till they fall and can't hurt us, and All then right. we move to the next one. The, the third yeah. sound, the the third cell has like a, a corpse in manacles chained to the wall, but it's not moving. That's fine. I can stay there. I'm gonna stab the ones that can move. That okay. I can reach through the. So you stab the first two. Yeah. All right. Eventually, after several stabbings, the corpses drop and stop making noise. All right, I'll keep doing that. Experience, please. Wait, wait, uh, I can the poke fourth... with my greatsword if they're far enough back. I don't have to get close to them. I can poke with the greatsword. Especially if they're moving yep. towards All right, I'll use my greatsword. I'm going to poke with my greatsword. The fourth one um, is another moving one, and it's yeah. trying to reach for you. You stab it, kill it. The fifth one is an empty cell. The sixth one is an empty cell. The seventh one is an empty cell. Jesus, there's a lot of cells The eighth here. one, you see not a corpse, but a skeleton. It is chained to the wall. It has four spines and 15 arms. Nope. What? No. And it starts, Fuck. the minute you guys like move in front of the cell, it starts like flailing out, but it's it's pulling against the chains, like re yeah, slashing out with its yeah. 15 arms. Yeah. Yes, I can't poke a skeleton. Do I know of anything oh, wait, can that- can I poke its head? Can I smash its head? Um, you want to get your sword where it can get battered down from yeah. it, uh, I don't want to right. sword in there. Yeah, I don't do I know of any creature that would mimic this? The arms. No. Nothing. Yeah, this is an unholy piece of shit. We should never have come down here. Burn this right, tower to the ground. No, no, no. Out of the cells. 
Um, you go to turn. Keys. We're well, keeping the keys. Okay. The you have, I, I wouldn't see what else is down. Do you want to see the empty ones? Do you want to look in the empty at the cells? at the end of the hallway is the the one with the fifteen arms. Do you want? Oh, do you want to look at any of the empty cells to see if there's anything in there or no? Uh, so the number the third one had a manacled body. It yes. The only body that didn't move. Oliver, get over here right now. Go lay down. Right. Go to your spot. Yes. Man. So there was only one in here that had a body that didn't move. The fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh were empty. I mean, it's a really good place to secure something if you want to secure something, right? But like that thing down the end of the hall scares the shit out of me. So, yeah. And I've seen a lot of shit. Uh, how? So these cells doors they open out in, like into the hall? Yes. I would so very if we that. open the empty ones from the eighth one, right, to just kind of bar the way a little bit and slow it down. That's what I'm thinking. Anything. If it somehow gets free, we're going to hear it slamming doors and yeah. So one. But how that. fast does it move too? Like I don't know, that thing's not normal. Can we burn this thing? I would like to burn this thing. I mean, we could try to throw a vial of oil on it and then throw. How it much out. oil do you have left? We have. I well, we got two. We only used one vial. Mm -hmm. And we've got two from just the horsemen in the in the courtyard alone. I also have one. I have six. And okay. I have some on my. I mean, I have some on my person. But all I right. I mean, you want to try? You want to? Do you want to? Yes, I very much. Okay. Do. Well, wait. Yes. I take off the rag from my greatsword, and we stick it in the top of the vial. <laughs> We're making a Molotov cocktail. I stick it in the top of the vial, and we light the rag and chuck it in there. Okay. Good. Uh, it bursts into flame. The thing is not screaming because it's a skeleton, but right. it's flailing around and the flames are consuming it. The bones are very dry. Right. Um, you begin to see like some of the limbs fall off right. into a pile. And after five minutes, it, it's, it stops flailing and it's just burning bones on the ground. All right, I'm okay with that. I like that. Yeah, good job. The one true God made me feel uh, pretty good about that. Um, and the other ones are dead. Yeah, I think we sell seven, some six, of them. five, and four have no corpses in them, just piles of rags. I don't really know if we're looking at that. Um, poke the piles yeah, of rags. Yeah, push around. I'll use the great sword to push around the piles of rags. Okay, which cell? Seven, six, five, or four? We're, well, seven. we're close. It's eight, so we start at seven. Okay. Um, you poke the pile of rags. Yeah. You don't see anything. All right, next one. You poke the pile of rags. The rags stand up in the in the form of a humanoid and begin moving towards you. Roll initiative, everyone. Oh shit! Uh, Ooh, we want to roll under. Is Where, where's roll under initiative roll? again? <laughs> no. Cool. Is there no initiative? I think initiative in this Both game is D6. actually a d6. Oh, I think. Oh. I think you're right. Two. One. Do we want high? Yes. God damn it. <laughs> I haven't had a good roll tonight. I really haven't. So we probably is it an add? I think the closest I got was a seven when I was trying to get under a yes, fourteen. Add your That's my best roll. Okay. Oh, okay, then I have a three. Okay. <laughs> it starts moving towards you. Uh can I slash the rags a little bit with the sword? With your greatsword? Yeah. Between the I know that bars. I could say I'll let you lunge. I'll lunge at it. Okay. <laughs> so Go ahead and attack. So, D20, right? Yep. Plus your attack bonus. No, it's going to be a eight. <laughs> wow. Eight total? Yeah. All right. You poke through some of the rags, but this animated thing is still moving towards okay, you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, three. Okay. So you get a four. Three. Did anybody have a three? Two. Two. Okay, two. Malta? You're tied. Go ahead. Uh, I'm shooting the ball through the... All right. Okay. Eleven. Ting. Um, a spectral claw reaches out from the rags. Oh, this is definitely you. One, two, three, Here. four, five, six. And and rakes out at you. Mm -hmm. Doing two hit points of damage. Okay. Um, make a. Nope, not yet. Sorry. Go ahead. Later. Correct. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, you're up. Oh, who had a two? You had, I had a two. one. 
I just, okay, you're up. Um, then yeah, I am going to definitely uh, do my magic thing for the first time all game. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Turn on Dead on this thing. Turn on Dead. Here we go. I have to look this up. So do I. Time. I just it's know I'm doing it. Not how D and D normally works. It's, it's old school. Also, the uh, Bengals just committed the massive penalty with like five seconds left in the game of roughing, roughing uh, uh, unnecessary roughness on Patrick Mahomes, and now they kick the field goal and they're going to the Super Bowl. All right. <laughs> Turn on dead. Wow. Uh, range, 120 feet. Jeez. Duration, 1d4 plus two turns. That's a long time. That's the power of the one true God flowing through God you. Damn right. When this spell is cast, the cleric's player rolls 2d6. I think. If the roll is greater than or equal to the list number, the undead totaling, blah, 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 will flee to the best of their building. We just hear just pouring out of the tower, just like, all right here. Is it 120 sphere? <laughs> yeah, it's 120 foot radius. That's the whole thing of the tower. Oh, this is different than how I assume turn undead would be. Okay, so you are going to roll. <laughs> well, 2d6. Come on, oh, five. Seven? Seven. The exact so you're average. third level. So three hit dice? Is that how we're this? Yes. Uh no, it's not I don't think it's three hit dice. The hit dice of the monster is one. So you easily turn this. You only needed a three. What about everything else in the tower? This is a 120 foot radius. Yeah, no, that's that's where I'm adding this. So, uh... Just clear the tower. Congratulations. Nailed it, I mean... Oh. We knew we should have done... So three, done six, what, right. what, what was your total? Seven. So that would be two. I'm thinking two of these are gone, right? So he rolled a seven. He only needed a three. So if the roll is greater than or equal to the listed number, then undead totaling no more than 1d6 plus the level of the casting cleric and hit dice will so, flee. So you roll another d6. So it's target d6 to see if you turn, and then if it works... Yeah, roll another d6. Another d6. Wasn't that what the five was for? So, so. All right, all, all of a sudden you hear in adjacent sh uh, cells, you hear the sound of cloth on stone. And you see, well, what you see in front of you is the thing sh shrieks back in terror and turns towards the wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And tries to claw its way out. No, the cloth, it, it goes through the wall and the cloths just drop. Good job. Up the stairs we go, keep the keys. I fall to one knee, astounded at the power of my own spell, and I say a prayer to the one true God for protecting me. I just, I, I do a quick uh, Tebow. Yeah. And I'll <laughs> turning was successful, and they're still unturned undead. We continue to roll every round until you fail a turning check. But they turn, right? Yeah. So, there's a door in the middle of this hallway right behind you that's not the same trap door or secret door that you came back through. Oh. You feel like... Directionally speaking, it would go into wherever that iron, iron door, door was. was. Yeah, I definitely don't want to touch that iron door. Yeah. Let's go this way. Um, you gonna keep your keep your? Yeah, I'll I'll cover our six if you guys want to move forward. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm holding my holy symbol. You're concentrating and holding your. This will be holy fun. symbol. Well, One dead creatures cannot cool. approach within ten feet. <laughs> Craig's like, is it really fun, Bill? Okay, so. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So here's the door that you come through. Okay. Here's the iron door that would have been. So we went up though. We had to climb up though. We could climb down to this. No, we? you you're still in the basement. What I'm saying is like, here's where you were okay. in the crates room. You came into the hallway with okay. the cells, mm -hmm. and now you're going okay. back in yeah. through here. So there's where the iron door was. I'll just signify that. That's the rest like of the, the basement room okay. or whatever. Um, are those are those those are our tables? I will oh. describe this. I like tables. Detail. Tables oh, are tables right. are so much better than coffins. <laughs> <laughs> we like tables. Something tells me they're operating tables. But yeah, what the fuck are they doing down here? 
It is, good. yeah, it is not holy or biased at all. The, the, the parts. The happy, oh, people. Parts. happy people. For what reason? To build things like at the end. Wow. Of Maybe. Yeah, that's gross as shit. It's blasphemous. Uh, well, I'm definitely blasphemous. doing the Lord's work here today. Nothing hurt. Not a lot, but I can handle it. Is that another table? No. Um, all right. The room has the iron door on the west wall. Yeah. A normal door door on the south that you guys are coming through. through. We close it behind us, by the way, too. And if it's candy barred, why not? And an alcove to the northeast, kind of like over there. Yeah. Um, all right. This. This is an alcove. Okay. All right. Um, that alcove over there oh. is catching, it's reflecting your light. You see mirrors on all the walls in this alcove. Okay. Um, and your, your lantern light is reflected off of it. Um, here. Near the east wall. Mirrors. There's a three foot wide hole in the ceiling with another hole directly below it with the space between the holes flanked by odd machines made up of gears and pulleys and cord. That's what this is. Okay. Uh, like so holes going up, holes going down, pulleys, cords, gears, gears wheels. Mm -hmm. uh, along the south wall is a table with a small box a rack of vials and a what what looks to you guys uh, like a telescope, but on like this weird stand. Um, the door to the west that you guys saw before is made of solid iron, and it is locked. Okay. Um, on the tables mm -hmm. in the center of the room are. Um, basically bodies and body parts. Some of them animal and some of them human. The bodies are a variety of different animal parts that you could see. Like you you see like one table has like smaller animals like rodents, bats, birds. Another one has kind of like medium sized animals and animal parts and human um, torsos and arms. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the third table has like a combination of these bodies that were like stitched together. Like so you they're see, making Frankenstein creatures <laughs> with the power of lightning in here. Um, and that's fucked. On that last table is a, a nude human male body. Is he alive? His chest and abdomen have been sewn up with golden thread, or what looks like golden thread. Actually, it's copper. Um, the chest wounds are in a regular Y-shaped kind of autopsy pattern, and the thread is is basically what that was used to sew it up. It's a Frankenstein. Okay. You said there's a hole in the ceiling. So, no? so I'm just reading more. In this room, is really cool. Are holes that go up so and down but there's no with turned. mechanical go. things and change? pulleys. Is there anything to attach to the tables? Garden no. Result. Even if you roll a crappy result. As long, this is where as long as you're concentrating and holding your symbol, they cannot approach within 10 feet of you. So we're staying by you. Yeah. The table, so um, I didn't really put in the table. A much cooler, longer term effect, even if you roll terrible right. against something that's really powerful, you can still keep it at bay. So this, this will represent How the, long can I concentrate on it for? This will represent the tables with the scientific equipment on it. Okay, and the vials. Where are the vials? And the yes, vials, yes. Four plus two turns. All right. Same duration. Um, are the things corpses moving at all? And they're on behind those tables, like mounted on the wall, are like thin shelves which have like the racks of of vials on them. Okay. Um, all the of them have like cork stoppers. Do they end up with like the ones on my sword? <laughs> take a quick glance. Um. They don't. Basically, you look at them and it looks like blood. 
it's the same color, but it's not the same material that's in your sword. Smash the vines? They're making Frankenstein monsters down yeah, here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, this is this is unholy. Enough. Yeah, we need to smash no, them. I, I am not saying I didn't indulge in a thing or two that I have to pay for a little dispensation for, but... I mean, I'm talking about drinking to excess or, you know... Uh, yeah, yeah. Gambling. This, this is. Um, I will use my great sword magic, to make yeah. a better, better swing, swing at all the vials. I'm just trying to see how many there are. I mean, like it's just I'm, dozens. Basically, what I'm doing is let's say let's say this is my sword. And these are the shells of vials. I'm literally just going to use my sword to slide them all off the shelf and smash or smash on the board. Uh, okay, you don't need to make a roll to do that. Okay. However. As the vials smash onto the ground, you notice that the little blood that was in each vial starts to like move and pool together towards towards the other pools of blood. I'm sorry, everyone. Direct, direct. Yeah, no, I'm looking at this with my holy symbol going, I don't know if we're, we know what we're getting ourselves I'm into here. Cooler than the spell, I thought. I don't know if you heard me. No. So there's the initial result yeah. based on your roll. Yeah. Regardless of the result, as long as the Eric is concentrating, uh, that, uh, this is, oh, shoot, probably guess it. As far as I said, neither movement nor fighting and holding a holy symbol. Undead oh, he didn't cannot, fight. Undead cannot approach with ten feet. So even if, even if you fail a roll, you have Strahd himself. Okay. You can keep Strahd at bay. Okay, you are you are still gripping your holy symbol. The blood is still continuing to pool. Can we um, brush it away? Is there something? Can we Any burn it with tools? another vial? Burning, burning's good. Oil. Do you guys Fire. have a torch lit? I have a, we have a lantern. Do you, how are you going, are you gonna smash your lantern onto it? Ooh, that's not good, fine. I can take one of the candles and light it on there Ooh, and toss it on there. Yeah. Oil, candles. Blood, who's burning. who's burning it with the candle? I'm not. I'm, I have, throwing, I'm throwing oil. oil on it. I'm throwing oil. Get get the candle. Get some light. Get some flame. So I'm holding the two things. I'm going to tell you to grab it out of my bag because I'm not letting go of my holy symbol and I'm holding this lantern. I'll grab it out of his bag. The blood's pulling closer. Yep. I'll grab it out of his bag. The oil go. is not mixing with the blood. Like the oil's like beating off of the blood. Well, let's burn. Fire's good. Fire's good. Just get it burning. Get it burning. I get the candle and I light it on the yeah. lantern. By the way, there might be a big, a, a bit of a whoosh here. That's fine. Um, you are going to make a dexterity. Uh, no, sorry, not a dexterity. You're going to make a saving throw. Because if I was being touched earlier. Roll higher than a twelve. Nope. Okay, you get attacked by the blood. It surges up at you, and it has a burning sensation upon it. Uh, it splatters on your armor, but it's still moving up towards you. That's not good. You burn it? Burn it. Okay. The rest of the blood starts sizzling from the oil burning it, and it's it's like pulsating and sizzling, but there's still blood on you, light a torch. and it's moving up towards your face. I light a torch. Okay. You light a torch. What do you do? You still have the candle? I do have the candle. All right. Mm, I make another roll. What do you want to do? Roll over a 12. I rolled a 12. Wait, I get a plus one. Which, <laughs> get a 10. Oh, um, I know it doesn't matter. You burn the blood off, okay. and it sizzles and like falls to the ground. It becomes kind of a thick, almost like a jelly as it burns, and, and it stops it. moving. Um, can we burn the rest of it? I'd like to burn the rest of it. Was a tar Is torch. the candle lit? The blood, the you have burned up all the blood that you oh. spilled. You, you you spread oil on it, you lit it, you burned the stuff off of you, it's all burned up. Yes, it is a vile smell. Um, I quickly turn around and make sure none of the parts of the tables are moving. Okay, you turn around, none of the parts on the table are moving. I mean, I don't know if we have enough oil to burn the entire place down. Um, 
can remove can the I head. See anything in the out? Yeah, I can remove the head. I can actually, <laughs> I'll just yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. I thought you were flinging oil. No, um, chop no, it. I'll chop the shit out of stuff. Okay, it's you go over the first it. table. Yeah. I'm with the, the small, like the small animal parts. Uh, no, I'll start with the big, big ones. Big. I can start with the big one. Yeah. So that would be the humanoid that mm -hmm. was yep. Yep. sewed together. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. You go to attack it, it starts to move. However, you see it moving. It gets up. It was a corpse and it's getting up to attack him. I turn my holy roll, symbol roll a D6. against him and I scream, in the name of the one true God, I compel you to not attack. God damn it. Good roll, Chris. Suck it, nerd. Um, Let's go. I, I finally might, did that, something good. That might have failed every check I've made so far today. That's true. You turned like, initially. Th that's what I'm saying. Like I, I'm finally catching a hot streak Hit here. Hit dice two. You're good in battle. I don't know. As you doing. as you invoke this prayer, the corpse turns away from you, rolls off the table, and starts like wait, wait. shaking. Do I get an attack? You you can me. chop it up all you want. No, it it up. cannot attack you. Not only that, you see the other two tables, all of the body parts also begin like quaking and shivering and just falling off the table onto the ground Jesus. and tremoring. I chopped them all up. You do. I'm glad I could use cleric. You you behold the true power of the one true God, like as all of these unholy animated organs like flop off the table and ultimately are just destroyed. Yeah, this has only increased my faith uh, in the one true God. There's the alcove with the mirror. Yeah. There's the table with the gears. The alcove, you haven't gone over to it, but you can see that there are five mirrors in the alcove. Why are there a, why is there a room full of mirrors? I can't think of a good reason for this. The only thing I can think of in any way that has to do with anything is that there's a Medusa upstairs, and mirrors and Medusas fuck with them, and that's all I've got. I like a mirror as a shield. How big are these mirrors? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I have a Huge. Have small steel mirror. Uh, Huge. Like, well, three feet wide, six feet tall. And they are mounted to the walls inside the alcove. Perhaps we could take one off and try to just like fracture them a little bit so we could pick up a piece and use it as a Maybe. something in case we need it. I mean, there's mirrors in the manor too that are smaller. Okay. Were there? Yeah, there were mirrors in the parlor and there's a mirror in the master bedroom. Go in the manor, right. I'm just terrified of that Medusa thing upstairs. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Both of us are the same. <laughs> Went, nope. Why? What? Just stay away from the snakes. Nope. I kind of wouldn't mind bashing one of these mirrors off and just having a nice reflective thing. Well, okay, so there's, there's a chance that there's something behind the mirrors. There's a chance there's another passage behind the mirrors. This place is tricky. This place is very weird. Uh, and there's still the gears and pulleys. I don't know if you wanted to look at that in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Uh, and also, the undead that you turned, do they come back? They go away for a long time. All right, I don't care though. Yep. 30 minutes? You're, still, yeah. still You're the tinkerer. You want to look at the pulleys and gears? Yeah, I'll look at the pulleys and gears. I'll go look at the mirrors and see if they're... Make a tinker roll. Tinker. 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 Nope. They are Better more than that. the most complex. You're like, what does this even do? It looks like they're taut pulley, like ropes, and then there's some chains, there's gears. Well, you guys can maybe it's some kind of mechanism. Well, you, fucking weapons thing, or what do you think? Why don't you guys make sense of this? Okay, I'll roll a tinker check. Yeah. I am not much of a tinker. Everybody has one. Um, you okay. A, you rolled a d6 Unbelievable. for that? Yeah, I'll look at it okay. too and see if I can make any sense of it. I rolled a five. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. You needed me to roll a one tonight. I'm like, yep. Yep. Every, You're on right it. Right there. How do you not understand this? Look, it says up, down, left, I'm right. I'm still freaked the out by the... The stuffs, the, the you, blood and the stuffs, and the. You see that, like. You you actually start to figure out that these are connected to things below and above, but that there's one chain that doesn't look like it's going all the way down. Okay. It looks like it's at its terminus here, and there's a, a ring on it, like as if it's meant to be pulled. What I tell them that without out? pulling anything. Iron. I go, they go up to like the top and the bottoms of the tower, see them? See how they go up to the holes? I'll explain yeah. it to you, maybe you can get a better tinker track, I don't know. And then I said, but there's this one ring, right? That doesn't go, it doesn't go to the top there anyway. It looks like you, you like pull it. I don't know. I'm not touching that. But these definitely go to other floors. They do things on other floors. It's almost as if like someone could control things down here and make things happen up there, I don't know. 
Yeah, it seems like they're loading body parts onto something like this and transporting them upstairs or creating or something. What about I don't know. The that goes all the way to the top. That's what I'm so saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they harness it down here. I don't know. That's what I was wondering. I would expect that. To something Maybe that's what the mirrors are for to iron. redirect something. I look at the mirror. I'm going to look at the mirror room. Look at the mirror room. I look at it. I look up and well, down. Well, please do it. You go feel start checking. I'm going to tie. So you go in the mirror room. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, the and then right here there. you see a door. Mm -hmm. It's an iron door. Another iron door. I tell God them damn it. I tell them exactly what I, I come out and I'm like, oh, this is what I saw. Is the door even locked or barred or anything? I don't open it, but I'm just looking at it. You don't even see a handle. Okay. So let's look around, see if there's something else that opens. Open well, I think that right here, so there's no handle on the other iron door, is, is there? Correct. I go, something in this room, something here opens those doors. Maybe it's pulleys? I mean, I'll pull the pulley if you want. I'll pull the two the chain thing, yeah. If you want, but I don't know what's gonna come out of there. Like, there's there's a reason that doors don't have handles. Do either keep things from escaping, or I don't know. But I mean, what did what did this door have? That door is just, just a, door. a normal wooden door. That's an iron door, and now there's an iron door here. Or we can just leave this room all together and go back up the way we came. <laughs> go home? Let's go loot some silverware. Except I don't know where home is. Yes. Yeah, no, Let's go loot some silverware. I mean, <laughs> we're here now. I don't want to sleep in here tonight, that's for sure. No. So, do we do something with the mirrors or play with some of these pulleys and gears? I think our only option right now. Because the mirrors don't move at all. They're on the wall, right? They're mounted to the wall. I mean, we can see what, if there's anything behind the mirrors, but I don't think there is. I mean, is there any harm in breaking one, we think? If we have a whip a rock at right. it or something? I, or? I, I turn to Philippe and I go, this is my understanding of this. Does this help your understanding of this at all? Like, you, can you look at it now, to look at it and see if it helps you? I mean, he shows it to you. All, all the other ropes and, and things that are attached to gears all go up and down. And this one chain with the Iron ring is the only thing that terminates I here. Just, I just yeah, pull just pull, well, I actually tied a rope to it already because I didn't know. We'll pull it from around the corner or something, or, or maybe, behind a table, or. Well, honestly, we're behind this box, so we have some cover here if yeah. something comes out of those two doors. Yeah. Oh, what if we put? Wait, wait, wait. What if we put the table in front of each door? Oh, a little barricade. Little barricade. Gives unless us some it, time. Unless it opens in. Where are the hinges? In or, in or out. You didn't see hinges on either uh, side. Nope. I put it. We put a table in front of each door. I'll put a table in the or a we'll stack of tables in, in the doorway to that alcove with the mirrors. Okay. And I, after we're done doing that, and maybe hopefully barricading, giving us some time to react. I. Are you guys ready? I continue to grip my holy symbol as hard as I can. I pull the chain. Oh no, that door doesn't matter. Put them. Put the second table in the alcove. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You pull the chain, yeah. you hear like a and then you see this door slide up and then you hear something from that alcove room. Mm -hmm. So we hear so, so can we look in the mirrors, the reflection to see what's in the other door? Uh, you briefly glance into the mirror and you see that is open now and okay. it looks like it's leading to some kind of stairwell uh, down. Down? <laughs> yes. Fuck down. down? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What happens if I pull it on it again? The door is closed. Okay, can we pull it down and then jam it in that position? No, I mean, that I pulled it again. See if the door is closed. Yeah. So you pull it down and you don't put them up. Yeah. Can we... But if we jam it in that position, we may not be able to get out. Oh, I see what you're saying. So can't you can't put it down there. I mean, there may be a you way... You feel like you could wedge one of the tables. Or could I tie a rope to one of the pulleys and just... Pull, keep it pulled. Sure. We we'll put a table through, yeah, something to... Why don't we put a table through one of them, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the wedge, yeah, all right, so, so this door just opens back and you see the, yeah. the crate room. Yay, the crate room. Well, well, I can care less about the crate room, so. Yeah, but it's the quicker way out, it doesn't go yeah, through yeah, that yeah. stuff. So we'll put it so there. Wedge it, you know what I mean. We'll just slide yep. the door to the side, so we can't, so it, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean. We, yep. know, we know. We know. Keep, you know what I mean. Keep All right. Let's go look at. Down. Let's go look at the alcove. 
Okay, so you guys see the alcove, you see the five mirrors, you see a open doorway now that leads to stairs that go down. I've been holding my lantern and my holy symbol exclusively. Does your holy symbol glow? Does my holy symbol glow? Is that a thing that happens in this world? Okay. You guys get to the bottom of the stairs. Yes. I will still take points because I think I still somehow have more than those. It's full of money and calmly lasses. No you, at all. When you get to the bottom of the stairs... I'm on my long sword, by the way, not my great sword, because I don't know how tight this hallway is. I'm going to say that this... Is the alcove? ...is the bottom of the stairs. What's in this room? Right, so happiest? Something like this. <laughs> that they're trying to destroy? They're trying to destroy the happiness in the room and all the joy. Oh, at least I don't see any other doors, so that's good. In this room, there are ten more doors and a bunch of cells. And a guy with a microphone. <laughs> we find door number one. Permanent death. Are those chests? Yep. Behind door number two, they are. another are Frankenstein we monster. Chests, talking crates. Yep. Treasure chests. I don't even have enough things for them. There's no treasure Shit, in these yeah. chests. <laughs> Probably not. As you guys are, you, you have not entered the room. You're at the bottom no, of the stairs. The you're, you're holding your lanterns up and by all accounts, it looks like a empty room. However, fairly close to you, you see like almost a reflection, like your lantern reflects. Like it's water? Off of something in the air. You could see through it, but it, as your lantern light reflects off of it, it there's like a kind of a blue shimmer. Do you still have that torch Like going? almost what? like a curtain. Do you still have that torch going? Oh, yeah, so the torch from lighting the uh, uh -huh. blood. Why yeah, see you see this pale blue hue when when you kind of like look into the room. What if we push the torch near the pale blue hue? We're all gonna blow up. <laughs> Your torch blasts. It it literally like the moment you touch it to the blue hue, there's like an electrical like surge and your torch just like the, the end of your torch just like blasts off. Shit. Hmm. Well, back upstairs then? Uh, hold on. <laughs> I have to describe this. <laughs> oh, me. Okay. We never saw this. <laughs> Holly, where you at? Um, there are... Now, I, I'm going to put Holly, this... I'm going to put right this there. pencil here to represent where where starts? you touched it. Yeah, yeah where the huge... Uh, Why don't we take the grappling hook from the guy? I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, can we grapple the chest and pull them in? Well, I'm afraid it's going to go poof like the oh. torch, but... It's just shooting a, it with an arrow, I guess, first. It's just a cloud? What's the second puzzle? There are four levers on this wall. Mm. There's no blue hue near them. Like, as in you could step into here and there's no... You definitely see a blue hue here and likely some shimmering over here and there. Um, but there are four levers on the wall. They are vertical levers. It looks like they're all in kind of a middle position, as if they could be raised up or down. Damn. Patterns. Um, Stupid patterns. So from left to right, we'll just say like if you're looking at this wall, mm -hmm. left to right, one, two, three, four. Yep. And uh, you said they're all in the middle position. Oh my god, this is so complex. This is this is exactly like every AD and D module that I ever remember. <laughs> um, they are currently all in the middle position. Is there any markings on the top or the bottom, like the symbol of on off? No. Zero? Um, even though the levers are in fact unlabeled for the purposes uh, of mm -hmm. mechanics, just consider them to be left to right, one, two, three, and four. Okay. Take a tinker look at it or no? Okay. As one who appreciates the finer things, I have to say this does not appear to be our objective. 
confused. I, I should mention what you see across the room. Uh, at the end of the room is a pile of ten chests. Well, damn. It's tempting, but not that tempting. Honestly, maybe after um, we feel that we're done. successful and uh, alive at the I'm end, sure. we're like, woohoo! <laughs> then we go and do this thing. Grappling hooks and chests, but. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe we can kidnap somebody or question somebody on how to use them. We'll just send them a potentially. We'll Medusa, though. Yeah. Um, she likes mirrors. Um, Probably to keep her away from coming down here. Maybe. Oh, that's the chest moment. All right. Or if she's chasing us, this is where we go to hide. That's a good point. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Going There's back no up. Doors in here or anything that we can see? Nope. Yeah. Up. So when you draw this here, does it mean it doesn't go all the way to the wall? It doesn't Correct. Go to the, it doesn't go to you, the You 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 can see that there's there's a wall here. Okay. There's this. There's that. This and then two more. Okay. So presumption is that you want to slide them up so there's a safe passage. Well, or all there's the way a pattern, through. or there's a pattern. That we, we have to figure out, but up or down. We have absolutely no information on what will happen if we pull any of them or what success looks like. I think we got to come back to this. Yeah, I don't know. What are we going to do? Start I mean, hauling them out of here, you know? The hope is that like the chest contains something that will help us on our adventure, but that's, the risk is really All right, do we high. move a lever just to see if something moves? How about this? Don't step in to move a lever. Use this old rusty box on there. Or like tie a rope to it and pull it like you have been. I mean, yeah, I don't I mean, just... All right, Push it up or down with something. Yeah, yeah that's what I said. Reach in with this old rusty blacksmith hammer and then... Yep. Move lever number one up. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Stand back in the stairs. We're standing back. Don't worry. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I don't suspect there's any undead down here. I'm, I'm covering our six. That is my responsibility. Nothing I know happens. there's a lot of one shit behind us. One up does not happen. One up does not happen. One down. Nothing happens. All right. So it's a pattern of one up. All right. So... Do any of the chests open or anything? No. All right. Uh, How about one, one up, up and two up? And two up? Okay. Uh, nothing happens. One up, two down. Nope. Nothing happens. Hold on. Nothing. One up, one down. Nothing. One up. Two down. <laughs> there's, a D, there's a DM note that says, to get the major rewards of the adventure, the player characters have to deal with this room. It shows the players the treasure as soon as they enter, and then prevents them from reaching it. It will drive the players insane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we try one down, two up? Nothing happens. Both down? Nothing happens. Both back to the middle? Nothing happens. No, I meant I did not expect it. All right. All right. Well, why don't we do this? Because I remember playing Mastermind. Remember the game Mastermind? Yeah. Why would we do one up? Doesn't do anything. Put it back down. Two up. Doesn't do anything. Put it back down. Three up. Doesn't do anything. Put it back down. All right. And then we'll just keep. Then we'll try them all down. Yeah. And then yeah. we'll go. Right. Okay. So you go through all of them in turn going up. Nothing happens. All of them in turn going down. When you go. One down, nothing happens. Two down, nothing happens. Three down, nothing happens. Four down, one of the fields goes down. All right, leave four down. The little cross field you need a pencil? that goes this way yeah. goes down. Like, so this little thread of space is now open. Oh, no, so that's four weird. down. We don't four want down. one open because if once if that slides back, it slides into the levers we were pulling. So, so four down is uh, is, right, is are that. Are the levers here or the levers here? I need more pencils. Are the levers here or the levers here? All right. So these represent force fields that go all the way across. Right, but I wonder yeah. where the levers. This doesn't go all the way across, and then there's a little one there. 
So when you bring four down, the levers are on this wall. So when you bring four down, this disappears. I think four where it was was better. So. Because now there's nothing to block this from. It's the here. first. But so does this one. All the other ones are, are up still. No, they're middle, right? Because we're moving back to the middle. No, I mean, the force fields are, are still yeah. engaged. Oh, this isn't here. This force field is done. No, it's still there. It but just, what I'm saying is, what if it slides it that way? Yeah, where are the levers? It, here or here? Yeah, that's a good question. The, the levers are here. So this could slide into us as we're pulling levers. It doesn't seem to do that. No, but it could, right? Because there's not anything stopping it here anymore. I'm wrong. Okay. All right, so there are four. One, two, three. No, not four. Yeah, it's just the stubby thing here. When you when you bring lever four down, this goes away. So we can still stand from the levers and have nothing slide into us. Correct. Yes? Okay. All right. So we'll leave that where it is. Okay. Now leave four. So now let's go back to three. three. Move it up. Four down, three up. Um, three up. Nothing happens. Three down. Really, it's tough to get it for you too. So. This now disappears. Oh. All right. Two up. Leaving everything the way it is. Two up. So right now, just to recap: four is down, three is up. Four is down, three is down. Double down. Okay. Yeah, we got that here. Yeah. Okay. So, so two up. Two up. Explosion. That disappears. This isn't so bad. All right. One down. I will move it, but I will, I will do up, one up first. One up. Four down, three down, two up, one up. So up, up, down, down, essentially for the right, front of two. <laughs> yeah, right. That disappears. Okay, can we walk past that through the gap? Without touching it. Or can we try to relight our torch and see if it does anything any different? Right, or stick something in it. It yeah, seems right. to be open. You, you, you kind of, you know, shine your lanterns, you shine your torches, you don't see any... 22, 21. 21. I still have more, so if you want, I'll go into the room first. He can heal so he doesn't go. Yeah, you stay. Uh, uh, can do. Rope around you. That's fine, I like that idea. I love that idea, actually. All right, I'm gonna put my lantern down, grab one around. hand on the thing with you with two hands, and we'll and, pull you and back. Because things blow up when they touch this thing, maybe I gotta put my sword and backpack and ever leave my stuff here really quick. Okay. All right. So I'd rather, I, I do not want my stuff to. All right, you're here, guarding our six. I go one step in. Okay. Okay. What do you have in front of you? What do you mean? I'm saying, are you holding anything out in front of you? The rest of our torch. Yeah, yeah, the, sheet, the rest of our torch, maybe my shield. I don't know. I was gonna say, if I'm up at the top and I was holding a lantern, are you holding a lantern? Yeah, I don't know that we need the. To well, the torch is the same. Set, set the torch on the ground. Okay. All right. I said, okay. Anything happen? Nothing. Nothing. Explosion. You. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. The expectation of pain is always worse than the pain. Not always. Mostly. Nothing. Hey, see? Just to be clear, are you here or here? There. Okay. Along Nothing. the wall. 
I look at the tiles. Are there any discoloration or different colors or patterns to what I would call Blood on there are no spots. patterns on the floor. <laughs> is it like a smooth floor or are there tiles? It's a smooth floor. Smooth criminal. I come back. I grab some rope. Okay. And we both have 50 feet. Yep. I step exactly the way I do. Yep. I lasso the rope around the first chest. Yep. And I come all the way back. And you start pulling it? Pulling the chest. Okay. Along that same path? Along that same path. You pull it all the way back to the alcove. Banger, all right. All right, now I go back to where I am. Yep. <laughs> you can go where the old chest was. I should pull be able to stand where the old chest was. That's this is like playing Minesweeper. I step <laughs> to where the old chest was. Okay. I loop that chest. Okay. I pull it towards me to where I am in the same square. Are you going to continue this pattern? I mean, if I can. Okay. I, I loop the chest. I loop it to An where hour I can. later, you have 10 chests piled at the base of this. That was awesome. Suck it, nerds. <laughs> it, Let's go. I thought you said parts. it would drive us crazy. Each chest is very heavy. Like, it would require two people per chest to carry it upstairs. But can we open them here? If yes. If there's anything we can use our adventure. Yep. So we do that. All right. After another hour of picking uh, locks and opening chests, there. you discover an incredible amount of copper, silver, um, and the following random items. A large pearl, like like the size of a Baseball. of a billiard. Wow. Um, you got this or do you want a to set of crystal dice. I'll take those. That sounds like something weird. And a mm -hmm. box with a strange powder. You know what? I take that back. You want the dice? I'll take the powder. Well, does he want the dice? I mean, he tends to. That's one of the ways I pray. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> and a shit ton of gold that we'll get later, right? No gold. Silver, Silver copper, copper, pearl, crystal dice, and the box of powder. We can leave the money for now. I'll take the box of powder. How, how big is the box? When I say an incredible amount of silver and copper, I mean an incredible yeah, amount yeah. of silver yeah, and yeah. copper. We're good. But we're going to leave it for right now. Okay. We have other worries. Yeah. Um, is the box encumbering or not? Like the powder? No. It's okay. Like you could put it in a pouch. It's just box of powder? Is mm -hmm. the pearl anything special about the pearl if you look at it? It's massive. But besides that, is it like swirling? Or is it like nope. Alright. Well, even if we don't get a chance to come back for the other stuff, the pearl alone might be worth a fortune. So yeah, agreed. Can we can we take enough silver that we're not on uh, I'm not sure what the encumbrance for carrying coins is, but you can take as much as you can carry. So if we each take ten silver some pouches, pieces, you know, yeah. Yeah, ten silver pieces each, maybe, or okay. twenty silver pieces? Like, take fifty know. each. What? Fifty? Take fifty each. 50. That won't cut into the over 10,000 silver or 50,000 copper that are in these chests. Jesus Christ. Where do you put your money at, actually? I don't have any money yet. I just want to let you know by these rules, okay. we probably Under, leveled uh, a couple of top, couple top times level. Yeah. I hope we've leveled a couple times, but regardless, uh, we are we are going to have to cut our losses where we where we yeah. stand um, mm -hmm. and go upstairs. Back upstairs. As, uh, before we just go into the room, though, we kind of look around the corner and look into the room and use the mirrors. Is that the way? Is that the creature with the how, arms? How how long are you looking in the mirrors? Just glancing, or it's a quick glance? Okay, no. yeah. You you don't see anything in the room. The room is not changed. Okay. No. Going into the crate room to go up the trapdoor ladder. Yeah. Okay.
Well, hello, and welcome to Phil Allen World. I am Wizzy the Wizard. I'm back once again to remind you to subscribe and click on the notifications button, and also watch videos that are over there. Tune in to the next episode of whatever show you are just watching, and watch other shows featuring Bill. He made me say that, because he's a narcissist. Okay, bye. <laughs>